so that's probably why the viewers did not keep coming back it's not just enough for youtube to recommend your videos to people it's about youtube recommending your videos to the right people not gonna be singing at the beginning of your video they're not yet to hear your song stop singing wrap it up just go straight to the point okay <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time seeing this beautiful face of mine you're welcome my name is Yama Ojeme and this is definitely where you want to be because I share wholesome tips that help you become a better content creator. I'm also a lifestyle creator. So if you're interested in learning from me as well as you know diving into my personal life, this channel is for you. Okay. Without further ado, let's jump right into this video. I'll be sharing five things that you need to start doing right now on YouTube to ensure that your videos get recommended by YouTube and even get more views. Like I always say, there's really no rule when it comes to YouTube because YouTube is a very unique platform and YouTube just wants to satisfy their audience. Even though I look you feel like YouTube favors some channels more than the others, but they'll keep saying that they don't do that, that they just put out valuable content based on their audience's interest and needs per time. It's also important to understand the basics and know what is working for other people and see how you can implement it for your channel but make sure that when you're taking advice from people on how to grow your channel you also put into consideration your target audience your niche and the style that you have consistently adopted for your channel and that your audience is used to for this video i'm going to be showing you real life case studies from my channel so that i'm not just talking i'll also be taking my points from here so in case i'm looking down just so that i'm looking at my phone the first thing you need to do to start getting your videos recommended is that you need to address the pain point of your target audience and you cannot address the pain point of your target audience if you don't know them <laughs> you gotta know them right by the way making this video is one of the ways i'm actually addressing the pain points of my target audience because you are watching this probably because you're gonna be getting views on your channel and you're tired like i am and i'm like how can i reach these people if not by providing solution for them so you need to understand your target audience so that you know the kind of solutions that you need to provide for them and i know you will say oh boy a lot of people are already doing it but the truth is yes a lot of people are doing it but nobody's going to do it like you and i'm not necessarily saying doing things that are completely different from every other person no because on youtube you have to take inspiration from people you have to see what is working and what is not if you see that people are doing their thumbnails in a certain way and it is getting clicks you go ahead and do your thumbnail that way but of course the fact that your picture will be on that thumbnail already makes it unique but it does not necessarily mean that your own has to be entirely different or mind-blowing or out of the world do what other people are doing but still make it unique still bring your personality and your authentic self into the video that way even though you're taking clues of what is working from other people you are still making your channel and your content as unique and as authentic as possible so this is my youtube studio and as you can see my last videos have not really been performing as much as i would want them to perform because of the views but one thing i just realized is that the video that got over a thousand views about six months ago which is this video why i am starting youtube all over again is because it addressed a specific pain point of my target audience or at least my potential target audience if you've been following me you know that this year i started creating content for creators to help them thrive to help you guys make better decisions and you know guide you through all the process of starting and all of that and so i said okay what better way to jump or launch into this that's actually announced it to my audience to be honest i did not even have any intentions of this video going viral because my own words i just wanted to tell my existing audience that this is the kind of content i'll be creating going forward i'll be incorporating content creation tips into my content because i knew that that was not something i i have been doing over the years so i just needed to make that announcement that was just the intention but to my biggest surprise youtube started recommending this video to a lot of growing and struggling youtubers and they were in my comment section saying things like wow thank you so much for this video ah uh, somebody that can finally relate and i'm like oh wow i didn't even plan this but as you can see the video currently has 1.6k views and the average view duration was very high up until recently so if you're in nigeria and you want to start out a lifestyle channel you have to find a way to still make those videos valuable to people because if all you're doing is just sharing your life in the beginning you might not necessarily get as much views or as many views as you want to there are certain things that go into technicalities of youtube you know based on the algorithm and how well they recommend videos from this part of the world and let's go through the comments um see somebody says i'm so happy and excited about your next journey da, 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 da. keep being consistent kevin karate says i just got monetized recently and i feel like i'm back at square one each time and every time i look at my analytics it's inspiring to hear you open up so now i checked this person's channel 
and I saw that they probably had one viral video and you know never had views their oldest video is from four years ago so probably the person has put that video on private right but I'm not even here okay popular pelvic floor exercise to grow your so this was the person's viral video the person's viral video had 280 views but guess what after that video I don't think the person kept making videos like that so that's probably why the viewers did not keep coming back maybe the person kind of deviated into lifestyle or something from what i can see here but it just seems like the person had one viral video and that was it and you don't want that as a youtuber you want to consistently keep addressing the pain point of your audience you want to keep giving them value so that they keep coming back right and i just thought to use this video as an example because if you check my channel you see that i wanted to i wanted to post a vlog after them let's check my videos I wanted to post a vlog after I posted this video, but I knew that I had already started building an audience around YouTube. I decided to do a video on how YouTube changed my life because yes, I know that now I've attracted a lot of people who want to start YouTube. They need encouragement, they need motivation, they need somebody to look up to to say, oh, if this person is saying these things about YouTube, that means I can actually start it and succeed on YouTube. And so the next video I made was how YouTube changed my life and it got 441 views. at least a good number of them came back to watch then the next video I knew that I wanted to do a vlog because I recently just got in a job and I vlogged the entire week right and I said okay how can I incorporate something that will keep them coming back so that they don't lose the essence of my channel or my channel does not lose value to them I said I got a job plus why my YouTube channel is not monetized yet remember I'm addressing the pain point of my audience and this video had 741 views and counting Guess what? This video that had 1.6k views, the video on why I'm starting YouTube all over again, let's check the video performance. You would see that the impressions were pretty high. It had 22,000 impressions. Why? Because I addressed the pain point of my audience that I wanted to attract. So I want you to sit down now with a pen and a paper and actually think of what your audience wants to see on your channel. What are they going through? What are they struggling with? I've noticed that sometimes even ranting about the pain point of your audience attracts them because then you have a lot of people who can relate to the comment section and they're like, thank you so much. I feel seen. I feel like I'm not alone. Thank you for making this video. So think about the pain points of your audience and begin to make or create content around that. And I think personally, I need to do this more because I've seen that that's what's working for my channel. So again, understand your audience and then address their pain point. Now, most of the views on this video came from browse features. It means that YouTube actually recommended this video to more people. 22,000 people saw this video. And of course, 1.6K people clicked on it. And another thing about it is that it's not just enough for YouTube to recommend your videos to people. It's about YouTube recommending your videos to the right people. Because you can have 22,000 impressions and only 500 or 200 people will click on it. That means the right people are not seeing that video. And that's why it's important for you to understand your target audience and create content or videos that are targeted towards their pain point or addressing their pain point and providing solutions, practical solutions for them. That way you stand a higher chance of winning. Like I said, it's a 50-50 because you can do all of these things and still not get views on your videos. But it's good that you're at least doing them consistently so that when you have that one viral video, people keep coming back to watch your other videos, your older videos, because now there is a track record of you consistently providing content and solution for that target audience. Hmm. So that's why you should not just focus on having one viral video, focus on being consistent and building a community so that when that video goes viral, every other video goes viral. And when you get monetized, you're not just getting the money, but you're also getting the views in the long run. You can thank me later. The second thing you need to do to ensure that YouTube recommends your videos and your videos stand a chance of getting so many views is that you need to leverage older trending videos to promote your newer videos. But you have to ensure that the videos are connected in some way. Let me go to my YouTube studio again to show you guys how I achieved this. Now, still on this video that had 1.6k views, when I made this video on how I got a job, Remember I said that it was a lifestyle video, but I didn't want to um, lose the audience I just started getting because a lot of people subscribe to my channel because of that video and I didn't want them to leave or unsubscribe or feel like my channel is not giving them value anymore. And so I decided to include something YouTube related by saying why my channel is not monetized. Somebody else is thinking, oh true, I'm in a similar situation. I need to find out why my channel is also not monetized even after so many years of being on YouTube. Now look at this video. It has a very high average view duration i posted this video on the 26th of january 2024 and even more than six months after or close to six months after 
it still has a very high you know average view duration i'm getting to that and it also has a very high click through rate and a lot of views what did i do let's go to youtube to check the video where i ran it now for this video okay now if you see this video where i ranted about why i'm starting youtube all over again what's not working and all of that you would see that i actually recommended this video about getting a job in that so the moment they are done watching this they have something else to run to and the goal is for them to binge watch your videos not just for them to watch one video and run away when people binge watch your videos it sends a right signal to the youtube algorithm to keep recommending more of your videos to them it shows that they are interested in your content and youtube will keep recommending your videos to them so you want to make sure that you leverage your older videos that are performing well to promote your current video so make sure you use your end screens and your cards also going through the analytics of this video i can see that a lot of my own videos are suggesting this video so that is one thing you want to achieve with putting end screens and that's why you need to create connected videos if a video performs well on your channel recreate it multiple times like do that same video in different ways just keep updating the information there so that your viewers keep coming back to watch now if you check the analytics of this video you would see that the videos that are actually recommending this video are videos from my channel most times when other people's channel or other people's videos are recommending your videos they might not end up clicking but when your own videos are recommending your other videos people are likely to binge watch and it sends a good signal to the youtube algorithm so let's check how viewers found this video see now content suggesting this video but when university pressure starter pack so when i was in school i used to film a lot of videos about things you need to know before coming to Bowen and I had a lot of students following me and that's why I had to make that video stating that I wanted to transition my content from school life to you know sharing valuable tips on how to become a better content creator how to grow your channel and all that good stuff so five things I did to scale up my CGPA this video is also performing very well and I'm not surprised that it's recommending you know this particular one a realistic week in the life of a job less first class graduate so you can see that a good number of my videos even my most popular video is actually recommending this particular video on how i got a job and why my channel is not monetized so that is why this video has 9.5k impressions and the views is 286 more than usual make sure you always add end screens to your video make sure you add cards to your video make sure that people have a video they can click on before they click out of your channel make sure that people don't leave your channel without watching at least one or two videos that way youtube is likely to recommend your videos to more people the third thing you need to do is that you need to test your title and thumbnails with youtube studio and vidiq yeah i know you probably heard this whole thing about oh titles thumbnails make sure your titles are great make sure your thumbnails are catchy and things like that but youtube recently released a new feature in their youtube studio where you can actually upload up to three thumbnails and get youtube to pick the best for you so if you're confused about what thumbnail would work for a particular video all you just need to do is design three different thumbnails right and then upload and then youtube is going to select the best or the one that they think would get more clicks you know than the others the less busy your thumbnail is the higher chances of people clicking on it right so make sure your thumbnail is not busy now for your titles all you have to do is go to vidiq vidiq is like an extension for youtube where you can search for your keywords and all of that good stuff and optimize your content basically and now i'll be going to this video 10 things i wish i knew before i started youtube this video is like five days old and it's barely 128 views because youtube has recommended it to my target audience the moment this video gets seen by my target audience i'm sure that they're going to click on it and gain value from all the insights i shared and you can also get to see your seo score um your checklist to see how well optimized your video is so that you can make the necessary adjustments you know for that video as you can see from this video the performance is not so high but i have about one credit left to check for my title if you see here one credit remaining so i'm going to check for the title recommendations you can see these shocking things to avoid before starting a youtube channel i like it because it's very attention grabbing and then with my expression you know maybe i would have done something like <sighs> i probably would still change the thumbnail and probably take another picture you know see a lot goes into content creation right if one thing is not working you change you try something else in your next video you can can really just keep exploring until you find what works for your channel so these title recommendations i'm going to screenshot them 
to see if I can change my title later on if this video doesn't perform well. So that is that about testing your titles and thumbnails for YouTube recommendation. The next thing you need to do to ensure that your videos get recommended by YouTube is to repurpose your content and leverage other platforms your videos. Content repurposing is using the same content in a different way with the aim of attracting people to the major content. So now you posted a YouTube video and instead of just waiting for YouTube to recommend your videos to people waiting because sometimes it takes months for the algorithm of YouTube to actually pick a particular video and start recommending it to people. I have a video on um, how I got this 87 in mathematics and you know still got admission into school and YouTube did not start recommending that video until mid last year and I posted that video about two three years ago <laughs> so that's how long it takes YouTube sometimes to see the value in your videos enough to recommend them but rather than wait up to that long there are things you can also do on your part to ensure that people see and watch your videos and that is through repurposing your content so that you my stories are so amazing like they have a special place in my heart so every time I post on YouTube I make sure that I post my links there and never fail to tell my guys that a new video is up but what a lot of people don't know is that you don't just post on your instagram stories like that you can take a part of that video and post on your story or on your feed when you're posting a youtube link on your story don't just copy the link from youtube and put on your story that is one mistake that a lot of youtubers make you will go to link twin that platform helps you convert your youtube video link to a link twin link <laughs> and the purpose of that link is that when they click on your YouTube video link, it takes them straight to the YouTube app. Now, if you do not use Link Twin, it's going to open in their browser. When they click on that video from your story, it's going to open in their browser and they might not be able to like or leave a comment below because they are probably not signed into their browser. But when you use a Link Twin link, it takes them straight to the YouTube app. So now let's say I want to post this video on my Instagram story. I'm just going to copy this link, right? Copied. And the good thing about LinkedIn is that you're able to even track the number of people that are clicking, that are actually clicking on your links from your Instagram story or whatever platform you'll be pasting the link on. So basically, you're just going to paste that link on your Instagram story and then whoever clicks it will find themselves on the YouTube app watching your video rather than going through the web. So that's that. Now, about repurposing your content, let me use TikTok to show you guys since my Instagram is currently not yet installed on my phone by the way i have 420 followers on tiktok yay for somebody who started tiktok this year this is a big win for me like i've held myself back from starting tiktok for a long time because i felt like i wanted to get monetized here first maybe hit 10k on instagram first i sure had goals i was like let me just you know hit certain goals on my other platforms that i've built over time before starting tiktok but i just said crap that <laughs> let's start tiktok this year and i'm happy that my content is not doing so badly on tiktok i use this video on tiktok to actually drive people to my channel or create awareness about my youtube channel when people ask me how did you graduate how did you make it first class were you a student you're a student leader you did this video this is my response and in the caption i'm like this is the summarized explanation but the full explanation is on youtube Nevertheless, if you want a detailed explanation on how I was able to achieve these things, there's a great day to binge watch my video. So this is an example of how you can repurpose your content. The point is to take a part or a, a catchy part of that video or a snippet of that video and post on your other platform. Create awareness about that video you have posted and so that people can go and watch or even pictures. It could be pictures of the events that you went for and this is it. I shared this in the video. Go and check it out. That's a great way to drive traffic to your channel. Even if it's just 10 people, you've gotten 10 more views just as a result of promoting that video on other platforms. And the bigger you grow your audience on Instagram or the more your audience increases on Instagram, TikTok and other platforms, the more traffic you're likely to drive to your YouTube channel. There is this lady that suddenly had her channel blown on YouTube. A day fair. She talks about like how to get a job, career stuff. Let me see if I can find her channel right because she had built her audience on linkedin yes i did fair adieu 
right? YouTube suddenly re just recommended her videos out of the view. And when YouTube recommended her video, she was on 1,000 subscribers. And now her channel is on 11,000 subscribers. This was the video YouTube recommended to me that I watched. Here's what I would do if I needed a job desperately. And this video has 64,000 views. When I watched this video, it was just on 2,000 views. And now her channel has blown up. So you just need that one video that will get your you know, channel recommended. And she's such a smart person because now she keeps creating content. And, like she's not even stalling. She's literally putting out content every week. You know, I saw her for the first time on Instagram and I saw that she had a large following on LinkedIn. She built her Instagram, she built her TikTok, and now she's driving all the traffic from those platforms to her YouTube channel. So of course, you will not expect anything less. So make sure you take advantage of pop content repurposing. When you post a video, ensure that you make noise about it on your other social media platforms. Tell people that you have a video on your channel so that they can come and watch, especially when what you have posted is related to what you are doing on that platform. So that's why it's important to have a niche and have something you're known for so that people that are interested in your content on Instagram can also be interested in your content on YouTube or whatever platform you're driving them to. And the last but not the least thing you need to do to get your videos recommended by YouTube is to make sure you hook your audience for the first 30 seconds. The first 30 seconds of your video is very important. It's very crucial to determining whether YouTube will keep recommending that video to more people because your average view duration is one of the metrics or one of the major metrics that YouTube checks to you know see or determine the quality of your video or how valuable it is to your audience so you want to make sure that no matter what you're doing the first 30 seconds the first one minute is catchy it's interesting it's intriguing and hooks your audience and keeps them watching so how does your long intros wrap it up here yeah? wrap it up you'll not be singing at the beginning of your youtube video what are you singing for they're not there to hear your voice. They're not there to hear your song. If they wanted to hear your song, they will go to a Ducey or Yekos channel or a Nathaniel Bassi's channel. Stop singing. Wrap it up. Just go straight to the point, okay? <laughs> Even when it's a vlog, make sure that you are taking like highlights from the video and put it at the beginning. So this video about me getting a job and why my channel is not monetized, I'm going to click on it and you guys are going to see. If I had continued on that path, I would have actually gotten monetized on this channel. Hey guys, welcome back. That's the first 25 seconds of the video and it's so intriguing. And now if you check the average view duration in that video, you would see that it's still very high. Even though I posted that video in January, the average view duration is still high, meaning that people are still watching even past the first two minutes of the video. Key moments for audience retention. The intro, 44% of viewers are still watching at around 30% mark, which is typical. It means that I have always paid attention to the first 30 seconds of my videos. Hardly will you click on my video and just click out. Guys, I'm actually engaged. So if you watch the entire video, you would actually find out that I was talking about I'm engaged with work, I'm engaged with like life, things are busy, my life is running and everything. But I, did, I put that part of the video and I put it at the beginning. Guys, I'm engaged. So you would want to watch and actually find out if somebody's engaged from where to where how yeah that's just an example of how you can use hooks in your videos to ensure that your audience keeps watching and you have a high audience retention which would eventually send a very good signal to the youtube algorithm to keep recommending that video to more people and of course when youtube recommends that video make sure that your title and your thumbnails are catchy enough to get them to click on your video i hope you guys found this video helpful thank you for watching we've come to the end these are the five things i highly recommend that you do in every single video to ensure that you get clicks and you get views and your videos get recommended by youtube let me know which one you're going to be implementing or doing differently let me know which of them was your favorite or is your favorite where you are currently with your youtube journey how is your channel performing are you getting views on your videos are your videos getting recommended what are your struggles what are your pain points what is like your biggest challenge currently on youtube let me know all of it in the comment section i'll be reading your comments and responding to every single one of them and i cannot wait to see you in my next video don't forget to like share this video with somebody who needs it and yeah, I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>